Hey everyone, it's your big buddy Brad in Kentucky. I love your comments. You all have given me some great feedback that you like to see some of these more affordable houses too. This one's out in the country, yet only nine miles to shopping and jobs and medical and all that stuff. And of course, there's a little Amish store just three miles down the road and a convenience store and gas and all that stuff, the post office. But this house is brand new. You'll be the first one to live here. And there's a babbling creek across the road you can hear from the porches. Yes, two porches and a sun deck. I'm so happy to show you another affordable house that's in everyone's price range. They're asking only in the mid-100s. Payments on this house and the land are going to be like 700 bucks a month-ish. Just ask Ken. Well, heck, this house would rent for way more than that. It's over 2,000 square feet. It's less than $100 a square foot. This cheap. One of the best things is the taxes are only like $1,200 a year. You could buy this, throw a sign out front, rent it out, and make a positive cash flow. Or, just like the last house I showed you, move in, enjoy, and slam your mortgage and become mortgage-free. What's your goal or what's the better answer here? Tell me in the comments below. Stick around to the end to see it all. I'm going to show you every square inch of this property. It's three bedrooms, bath and a half, and you could easily make that half bath into another full bath. I'll be doing more videos for you. So if you like videos of houses and land in the country, like and subscribe. Let's get it. It's your buddy Brad, and we are going to Gravel Switch, Kentucky today. And you can't buy an address like that. I just wanted to show you the farmland that you're going to be driving by you are literally like 12 miles from three walmart super centers maybe 14 miles there's uh, danville's in front of you lebanon is behind you they're both county seats and then harrodsburg is also a county seat uh, and that's going to be about 14 or 16 miles something like that anyway i think you're gonna like this house it's affordable. We all enjoy the million dollar places. Look at this beautiful creek here. Now the house is on this road, but I don't know exactly where it is. How pretty of a drive. This is a place that we go to like on a Sunday drive. You just take, take the car out and you're gonna, you know, just go exploring a little bit, buzzing around. When you move here, you're gonna wanna do that and see what all is out here. Look at that creek. Nice. I'll put down here what the name of it is. I have no idea, but I'm sure it's got a name. It's definitely a blue line stream. Gotta be up here somewhere. Ah, I think I see it. Here's the deal. Everybody wants the land and all that stuff. This only sits on like three tenths of an acre. So my apologies. If this isn't right for you, then you can just bag out right now. I understand. I totally get it. Oh, it's a mile in. Okay. Oh, let me tell you. The addresses here are like, like you know, set, I just passed 700. That means it's about seven tenths of a mile off the road. Now we're going up to 1,200 and that's going to be about a mile and two tenths. Does that make sense? And that's how they do the E911 addresses, which I think is kind of cool. Now, if you're on the big highway, then it's like 14,000. Well, that means it's 14 miles from the firehouse in town. That's how it works. So, Okie dokie. There she is. But it's like new. I don't know if anyone ever moved into it. I don't know. Ken will tell me the whole story later. But the guy built it and then never used it for some reason. I don't know. It's people, so you get weird stories all the time. Let's go check it out. You can hear the creek running. It's right there. This house is ginormous. He said he would open it for me, and I guess he did. Look at here. Nice. It's got laminate floor. Nice high ceilings. Paint like new. Again, I don't know if they ever moved in. I don't know. And don't ask me, don't ask me in the comments what, what happened, because I don't know. If you think that it's odd or strange or whatever, you're welcome to put it in the comments and I'll try to answer you for sure. Lots of cabinets. Love this. 
Lots and lots of cabinets. Laundry room back here. Got plenty of power. It's not on. Oh yeah, we got plenty of power here. There you go, 2018. 2018 is when it was set up. You'd be living out in the country here. Again, not a huge yard, but you don't have a lot to take care of either. And here's the thing. There's neighbors here. So, you know, at some point, life gets in the way. People get old, whatever. You know, grandpa dies or whatever. You can probably pick up some extra land if you want some extra land. It wouldn't be that hard to do. You just have to be patient. Oh, there's that laundry. Big bathroom. This is cool. Look at these. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Nice. It's dirty. It's just not been used. I don't know if it's... Like I said, I don't think it's ever been used. Furnace. Uh, what brand? A Luma coil or something, US or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we got. Let's run upstairs. Beautiful oak stairs. Got a dust cover. Oh, for the smoke detector. Got it. A lot of cabinets. This is huge. This house is huge. Two full floors. And the price is right. Oh, yeah, he's got this uh, little thing out here. This little block thing. And it had a furnace in it or something like that. A wood-burning furnace. Now, this little swale back here so water doesn't come here, this swale will direct the water off to that side and then off to this side. So you're not gonna have every drop of rain that goes right there come down and meet your backyard here. That swale is pretty heavy duty. That's done right for sure. So we got bedroom here. Half bath, which would easily be fixed. Now, this is a big bedroom and a front porch. You can see all that stuff. And I assume we have another bedroom over here. Oh yeah, oh, that's big. This is like, well, 14 by 14 or 14 by 16 or something like that. Let's open this rascal up and a full double porch. Nice. And it's built right too. We built a lot of porches. They put the light in upside down. I guess I didn't have enough height. <laughs> the coach light, that's okay. You could change that, it's not a big deal. But um, we built a lot of porches and decks for, you know, in our business. Man, that's fantastic. That's done right. All right, pull down attic. You can store all kinds of stuff up there. Love it. This will make someone a fantastic property. I mean, who could not like this? These are like eight by eight posts here. Fantastic. And here they did, it looks tighter than 16 inches, doesn't it? Looks like, well, doesn't look like 16, doesn't look like 12, but it's heavy duty, I can tell you. It wasn't bouncing with the hippopotamus up there. One thing I did want to point out before I forget is this has municipal water here. Almost guarantee it, because Marion County has municipal water. They just do. So that's kind of a cool thing. And I'll put information here about the HVAC as well. I'll know more about that in a little bit. So I guess just what's mowed here around the house goes with it. 
Ken didn't exactly know. I guess the seller's trying to figure it out. But again, someday something's gonna happen and you're gonna be able to buy that maybe, who knows, right? If you want more land, maybe you just wanna enjoy the view and not, not want a ton of land to take care of. There's plenty of room for a garage, plenty of room for a shop. And this county has no zoning. So you literally could put a shop garage right here or on the other side. You always, always put it where you don't want the view necessarily, right? So plenty of room here for a garage shop. In the back might be a little tight, but the sides, no problem. Oh, one thing I've got to show you. You know that it's really brand new, never been used. The blue plastic is still on the drain deal here. Uh, and the white plastic is still on there. Just amazing. I was just at a brand new house and it's got like, uh, what was it? Like one or two windows in the front, one on the side and one in the back. It was like crazy. This house has a ton of windows. Even the, this, this is like a home office here. You could put a really tiny bedroom in there, but this would be perfect home office. And uh, they've got tons of windows and they're big too. I, I like this house. I don't know what you think about it. Let's walk around back. For the price, I mean, you're talking about, if you were to borrow all the money, you're only talking about like 800 bucks a month. That's pretty reasonable. It's got this block thing, and I think there was that water furnace or something. I don't know, like a wood stove in there. I don't know, there's nothing there. Yes, that's exactly what it was. It was one of those, like, Taylor water stoves or whatever they call it. And it just basically, you put a wood stove out here, and you can store your wood there, and you throw it in in the morning and at night, and you're done. This is probably the cistern which this is a huge cistern. But I, again, I think this has got to be on uh, city water. All you got to do is give Ken a call. He can answer all your questions. I think the property line goes to about there, and I think it goes way out there. Now, it's, it's pretty far from here to there. Here to there is maybe 50 feet. It's certainly bigger than 30. So this way, you got plenty of room for a, a big old garage that goes into the kitchen. You're out in the country but you don't have to take care of a bunch of land. Let me know what you think. There's your view. And it's getting the fall time of the year. People are starting to run their chainsaws. They'll be cutting wood and, you know, you can buy wood. You don't have to cut wood yourself and you don't have to, have to use wood at all if you don't want to. But we sure love a nice little fire at night. Get done with dinner, light the fire, have a glass of wine, magic. And now you get to see my shirt again. Uh, I did two videos today, so you'll be able to notice that. <laughs> I got my Bradism shirt on. Maybe we'll put those up for merch. I don't know. If you think I should put these up for merch, let me know and we'll do it. Put it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a beautiful, relaxed, laid back area. I know I don't live too far from here. And the Amish store is right up around the corner too. So you've got a Dollar General, you've got an Amish store, you got a restaurant, post office. I mean, literally like you could ride your bike to these places. And then of course, Lebanon is just, I'll put it here. I'm gonna guess 10 miles. Then you've got everything there. Tons of jobs, there's a medical center. There's a lot of bourbon stuff there. There's a cooperage that the cooperage makes the barrels. The person who makes them is called a cooper. Imagine that. But anyway, that's uh, that's there. And it's kind of like the the gateway to the, the bourbon distilleries. So Maker's Mark isn't too far, and there's there's a couple other distilleries up there. I'll mark down here. Diageo just built another big, huge one. So plenty of jobs, good paying jobs. Bourbon jobs are very high paying here in the state. I'll put that statistic here as well for you. Call Ken, the number's right here. If this is not right for you, get on our home finder, and we will start sending you properties that fit your criteria. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Ciao. I can't wait to hear your opinions, so comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash homefinder to tell us what your ideal property looks like, and we'll send it to you. Right, Mojo?